Okay, so these are the flood defenses. So we had quite a few sandbags stacked up here. And uh, you can see the line on the house. I don't know if that's very clear where the flood was. Uh, we've got all kinds of flotsam and jetsam is washed up everywhere. Okay, might be a bit dark in here. Obviously the lights are all out. You can see there the water level. Oh, I'm just going to take you on a little tour through. See the water marks on the chairs. Dryer is full of water, which is fun. Not going to get much dry in that. Although, thankfully, there wasn't enough water that it tipped the fridge. That's always good. Not you can sure. See the line on the lock of the fridge actually. Yeah. Right. You can see that. Yeah, you can just about. And we'll go back in here. Again, you can see there's stuff that's drifted all over the place. Charming. Came up through the toilet. Lovely. Uh, I used to have a spider living in the shower. I don't think he's living there anymore. And we'll go down here. You can see the carpet's all lifted. All the furniture's been tumbled. Some of the stuff that was Shorter dresses or higher up are okay, but anything longer has been soaked. It's just all a bit depressing. And we come through here. We're going to go into the fun room now. We're going to go into the dining room. Oh, look, there's my bin. So, the dining room, I used to have wood floors. I still have wood floors. They're just not quite where they used to be. If you can see that. The wood is lifted. So it's a bit dicey walking in here just. Nice wooden table. Not so nice now. pieces in the corner there. All right, we'll go back to the main part of the house, all the bedrooms. I got visited my study, which is delightful. Uh, everything underneath the countertop is gone, pretty much. And the bathroom. I had run a nice bath and I left the plug in, but the water has obviously come up through that. Very nice. Nice and muddy too. And again, came up through the loop. Okay. Hot press. If I could get the door open. Well, I can't because the uh, thing is shut here. The carpet's lifted so I don't know if I can get this door open. There we go. So. 
I don't know if you can see any of this at all, but again, we've got a water level right the way up. It's kind of hard to see. Some of the things higher up should be all right. And in here, oh, blue brush has floated into my room. I'm just going to open the curtains so we've got a bit more light. You can see the water line on the base of the curtains, though. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, basically, the water line. If I hold that up. So I had piled a lot of stuff on my bed. And I think all of that is all right. But obviously, I don't know if you can hear that squelching. Carpet is just full of water. My bed's been destroyed. Luckily, all of the wardrobes stayed upright. So anything on top of those should be all right. Maybe not as bad as the last time because of that. But the fireplace has taken a hit. And you can see there the water line. I don't know if you can see that too well, but let's try this. There's the water line there. Okay, another bedroom. Huh? Yeah. We've got all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, luckily, most of it piled on top of the bed, but. I've lost a lot, I'm sure. A lot of my jewelry making kit in there. <sighs> and it's the final bedroom. Now, surprisingly, oh no, that is quite damp. I don't know if one of the mattresses floated or what happened here, but. At any rate. So again, Lowest level books destroyed. You can see the water level there. And that's it. That's a tour of my beautiful house.